Good morning, everyone. This morning, I would like to bring to you my first clean for free car edition. Dun da da da. So this is the car of an overwhelmed and anxiety-ridden single mom who's been quite depressed and exhausted lately. I decided to give her car a little makeover so that the long drives to work and back with her preschooler would be a little more welcoming and not feel so overwhelming and claustrophobic. Just starting out with a little overview here to see what we have ahead of ourselves. All the clothing that we found in this car was washed, folded, and returned, except for what she wanted donated and then that was donated. So yeah, I thought I would try something new and do a clean for free car edition. <laughs> so here I am just Emptying everything out, <clears throat> sorting through what is trash and what is keep. And yeah, just got to get it all out first. <laughs> I found quite a bit of food um, in the car. Um, most of it was expired and seems like there was some stuff like from the grocery store that never got brought into the house or something and a lot of clothes and mostly a lot of trash and yeah just random things like halloween costumes I also found a lot of gifts, like a, um, I don't know if they were gifts that were supposed to be given to people or gifts that were given to this person or whatever, but yeah, a lot of gifts and, um, trying to think what else, <laughs> blankets and toys and food, like wrappers. Sorry, I don't have the best angle here because it seems like every time I go to grab something, my whole body's in the way and you can't even see my accomplishments of getting the stuff out. <laughs> you have to just look at the top of the screen here to see what I'm doing next because, again, this also isn't the <laughs> best angle. There were the other some of the other stuff I found were um, wet swimming towels from swimming lessons, and that was what was causing a lot of the mold and the odors from the car is because of the wet swimming towels. But you know, hey, at least this child knows how to swim, right? So I changed the camera angle again, and now I'm back to where I started, where I'm in front of the camera the whole time. <laughs> it looked like this 
section here seems to be like just a lot of junk mail and just going through, you know, you check your mail and then instead of putting it into the recycle bin, you know, your hands are full with something else or whatever. You got kids and you're trying to juggle a million things at once and you're a single mom and it just gets away from you and before you know it it's overwhelming and you don't know where to start so you just don't do anything at all I imagine it can almost be paralyzing where if you don't have six hours to do it you just think well I can't do it right so I might as well just not do it at all It's almost like a form of perfectionism, which sounds funny when you look at a car like this, the last thing you think of is, oh, this person is a perfectionist. But truly, it makes sense because if you're a perfectionist and you want this done perfectly and you want it done right, but you don't have the time or the energy to do it, then you just must think, well, why would I bother? One thing I want to ask a question is why do they make the space between the seats and the middle console so tight? You can't even fit your hand down there. If, you're dro if you drop something, you can't even reach your hand down there. Oh, that's so annoying. For the seats, we just vacuumed out all the big chunks and then sprayed it with some carpet cleaner, actually, and scrubbed out the spots. And it actually turned out pretty good. It's like it was just in time, you know, before it started, you know, getting to the point where you, you could no longer fix it, like if the mold had, like, rotted through or anything. But, yep. It actually turned out almost like a brand new car, believe it or not. All the money I found in this car, I just kept putting in that little compartment there. <laughs> I am in no way a professional cleaner or car detailer, so I'm just doing my best. Yeah, see this? Seats didn't turn out bad at all.
Bags of trash. A whole recycle bin. This is all the pile of keep. Have to sort through. And this car seat needs to get done. And then these are all dirty clothes that need to be washed. So now for the car seat. I need to take it all apart so that I can wash all the individual pieces and then put it back together. It was very hard. My hard. granddaughter in the background playing with her new car Jeep she got for her birthday. <laughs> Okay. tell you this car seat was not fun putting it back together after I washed all the pieces in the washing machine. Ugh. Okay, the car's all cleaned out and vacuumed and scrubbed and it's gone to get washed. So, um, what I have to do now is just go through this stuff and organize it into categories. So, I'm gonna do that now. So, this first category I have over here is like brand new things, like from the store. 
paper plates, water bottles that have never been opened. Um, I have a little bag of trash started. So upon returning these items to the car owner, I did bring them to the porch, not leave them in the car because I was just concerned that if they looked all nice and organized and they were just still left in the car, then they would just stay in the car. So I did put them on the porch. Um, so that way these things are out of the car and the car was returned perfectly empty and perfectly clean. And it was so satisfying. And the homeowner was so grateful. So these are just some of the categories that I came up with. <clears throat> the brand new. Well, these things here, I asked uh, the car owner if I could donate. And she did want to keep the soccer thing. And the rest of the things she did not want. And then this next category is like brand new items. There's like a brand new hair curler, brand new package of candles, um, stuff like that. All she wanted out of that was just the water and the book. She did want the blender. And then there were these car items. I guess not car items, but like bug spray and stuff like that. There were some umbrellas she wanted to keep. And then all this food she just did not want. Most of it was expired, I think. I did find a couple of Apple phones that she wanted to keep. <laughs> and this box of dishes. We also found this toy iPad Android thing. And these are the two bags of items to be returned. Yes, this felt very good, giving her car back to her nice and clean. Thank you guys so much for being part of this Clean for Free car edition. I have really been enjoying your comments lately and your friendship. Don't forget to tune in Tuesday for Tiny Tidy Tuesday when I start my shelf series. Oh yeah, that should be fun. So until then, Take care. Bye.